When you first hear the title, Five Arcade Gems, doesn't the first thing that pop into your mind an old arcade game? Well, that's what I was thinking when I downloaded this title for the WiiWare. Imagine my surprise when these arcade gems were nothing but lame games that you would find in any minigame collection. I don't understand the title at all. Why call it an arcade gem? I have been to an arcade before and trust me when I say none of these games would ever be there. There's not enough substance in any of them to justify a quarter to play it. Alright, maybe that's a bit harsh. There is about a quarter's worth of fun in each of the games. But when you look at the other arcade games, are you really going to choose to spend a quarter on any of these lame games? No, you won't. There are a total of five games in this collection, hence the name Five Arcade Gems. And they're all unlocked from the start, thankfully. Up to four people can play any of the games. However, all the games are played with four players, even if you don't have four real players to play with. The computer will play those players that you don't have. Now, since there's only five games, I'm just going to go over them all from best to worst. Templar Bashing. The idea is to jump over a pole that is coming at you, or bash it back in the other direction. You get four lives to survive the onslaught. Now, this is easily the most fun game out of all of them, and it's also the simplest to play. You swing your Wiimote to knock back the pole, or swing your nunchuck to jump over the pole. Jungle Pizza Delivery. They have you delivering pizzas when all of a sudden you're attacked by natives. If they catch you, they'll kill you. So in order to stay ahead of them, you're going to have to thrust the Wiimote and nunchuck up and down to run faster. You use the A button to jump over obstacles, and you use the C button to duck under them. The controls worked okay, but I thought using the C button to duck was a strange thing to do. Why use the odd combination? Why not just use the A button for jumping and the B button for ducking? Whirling Rangers. This is a shooter where you have to fly through rings while avoiding asteroids, which just happen to be traveling through those very rings. Why are you flying through these rings? Why don't you just go around them? Plus, those rings make it incredibly distracting when you're trying to focus on the action at hand. You use the nunchuck to move your plane left and right. However, when I say left and right, I should say clockwise and counterclockwise, because annoyingly, the ships will only move in a circular pattern. Lumberjack Trials. All right, here's the basic premise of this one. You play the role of a drunken lumberjack, and the king idiot of the group has the brilliant idea to throw targets in the air and have his buddies throw axes at them for points. So he stands there in the middle of the action while the axes are being thrown. Then the target thrower, not content in surviving this ridiculous situation he's gotten himself into, tells him to back up, and he makes it even harder for the lumberjacks to hit the target. You use the Wiimote to aim, and you use a jerk of the nunchuck to throw the axes. The controls worked okay, but it was just the gameplay I found incredibly boring. Last and definitely least was RC Buggy Madness. You drive your buggy around looking for batteries for your car, and then you have to return them safely back to your base. There is a time limit for each round, and the one who has the least amount of points at the end of the round will be eliminated. Then the remaining cars will have to do it all over again until there's only one car standing. There is nothing enjoyable at all about this game. The camera sucked, the controls were awful, and the gameplay was dull. The controls were the worst part about the whole experience. They have you move left and right with the nunchuck, while using the B button to move forward and the Z button to move backward. Why did they need to overcomplicate the controls like that? Why not just assign all those controls to the nunchuck's analog stick, but instead your car is about as responsive as a tank, and it was just as frustrating. The title 5 Arcade Gems is a bad name for this game. Why not 5 Party Games? Because that's what this is. There isn't even a slight bit of arcade style worth to them. So you might be asking, is the game worth 700 Wii points? I would say no. Not for 700. Maybe 500. But that's kind of stretching it. I think you could find much better uses of your 700 Wii points than this game. So I think you should skip it.